Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, we were just uh, debating this. Not a lot of snow in the, in the greater Burlington area, but there was more to the south. Yeah, we had a five inch report in Reedsboro down by the Massachusetts border, but saw many foot plus amounts just south of Boston. So that was the oh. mega band that we missed by a little bit. We knew we would be on the edge of this storm, but right now we've got clear sailing on Pearl Street in Burlington. A lot of uh, fresh coverings of snow around the region to make things look like winter. Uh, freshening things up as we go into the sunny day tomorrow. This is from the airport, still a couple of flakes reported, 23. And you can see some of those on Storm Tracker. There's very few areas of snow left, but a little bit of one going over Mount Mansfield right now. So I think an inch or two of additional snow possible at Stowe for tomorrow morning. And then another band here right over Route 7 from Bridport down towards Brandon and other parts of Rutland County. But the main core of the snow now up over Canada and moving away. We're actually watching a clearing sky here move in, which will give us the sunshine tomorrow, but also a really cold night tonight. So I think tomorrow is the brightest day in over a week. Most of the day should have blue sky. Could be some clouds moving in by sunset. And then on Sunday, it's cloudy the whole time. Snow showers north, but icy showers in the southern half of our area and then some dangerous cold next week. So right now you can clearly see what's about to happen because the clouds are leaving northern New York. We're down to 12 in Malone, 12 in Gabriel's and at the base of Whiteface. But all of the 20s are basically along Lake Champlain points east where we're still waiting for the clearing sky. But almost all of us will be in the single digits for tomorrow morning with the clear sky, the bright sunshine. Now, if you look carefully, there might be some leftover clouds over the highest summits first thing in the morning, but those will even vanish by midday. And then by four o'clock, we start to see some higher clouds move in. But Sunday is interesting because I think generally it's not a huge problem where the snow is, but where the touch of icing is basically south of Burlington, it could be a little bit slick on the road, sneaky, slippery Sunday morning. So keep that in mind. Most of that will be done by Sunday afternoon. Then there's just some lingering rain and snow later Sunday before we get to a relatively quiet Monday. But this map, I think, does a nice job of where to watch out for some of that icing. Anywhere you see the pink shading, basically a long 89 points south of there for Sunday morning. And then the dangerous cold still there in the forecast for Tuesday morning, 20, 25, 30 below zero, and it's still very cold for Wednesday morning, even though there's a little less wind. So overnight spots will be below zero in northern New York, single positive digits just about everywhere else. But we do get up into the teens tomorrow with the sunshine, very little wind. So not talking about a wind chill tomorrow. That's always nice. 23, the high in Springfield. So here's the five day with the rain and ice showers, I should say snow and icy showers on Sunday. And then Monday, more clouds than sun, but Tuesday into Tuesday night, that's the real intense cold. I think most of us will stay below zero during the day Tuesday, but after that we warm up at least into the 20s. Stu, Alice? All right, Tyler.